Welcome back to Project Element. In our last video, we realized that we need power in order for Project Element to actually be fully successful. And so we started to see how we could actually create power from these elements. And the way is that churches must find new workers, they must train them, and they must feed them. Now what about these workers? Is it sufficient for them simply to be involved in feeding new souls? Actually, they have a second work as well. They need to be training the lay members in the mission evangelism that they need to be doing. We find this in Testimonies, Volume 5, page 256. It says, It has been proved in the missionary field that whatever may be the preaching talent, if the laboring part is neglected, if the people are not taught how to work, how to conduct meetings, how to act their part in missionary labor, how to reach people successfully, the work will be nearly a failure. There is much to be done in the Sabbath school work also, in bringing the people to realize their obligation and to act their part. God calls them to work for Him, and the ministers should guide their efforts. You understand, it's not enough for the gospel worker to do all the work, for the gospel worker to prepare the meeting, for the gospel worker to conduct the meeting, for the gospel worker to go out and find the new souls, for the gospel worker to do, to do, to do, to do, to do, and the lay member to literally be a lay member. This is not part of God's plan. Gospel workers are supposed to be instructing the members of the church in how to conduct the services of the church. Why is that? because they need to move on to the next church that they're going to raise up. In Sermons and Talks, Volume 2, page 156, it says, The idea that our ministers must hover over the churches might just as well be given up now as later. The members of the churches must be taught to keep themselves at work showing the intelligence and spirituality God requires in those who claim to be members of His church. God has not called your minister to take care of your church. He's called your minister to raise it up, to sustain it, until it is ready to take care of itself so that they can move on to start the next church. With this in mind, he must train people to do the work. Evangelism, page 382. Our ministers should plan wisely. As faithful stewards, they should feel that it is not their duty to hover over the churches already raised up, but that they should be doing aggressive evangelistic work, preaching the word, and doing house-to-house -house work in places that have not yet heard the truth. They will find that nothing is so encouraging as doing evangelistic work in new fields. So we see that in order for Project Element to have power, it is necessary for the gospel workers to be training the lay members of the church in how to conduct all the meetings, all the services, and all the work of the church. When you do this, you extend the power that is given to the church by these elements that God has put in place. And it means that you will be the most effective in your personal mission work.